Hello everybody, my name is Anil Thomas and today I'm going to take you through this topic of basic principles of chemistry, functional group. Okay, so what is functional group? To explain that, I'm going to take you through a real life example. Uh, let us say I'm going to introduce you to a friend of mine who will come tomorrow and I'm telling you her name is Monica Fernandez. Um, the moment I say Monica Fernandez, you have built an impression about who she would be and how she would be. Uh, what if I tell you her name is not Monica Fernandez, but her name is Monica Patel. Now, would your definition of this person still remain same or would it change? And what if I tell you that the friend that I'm going to introduce you tomorrow, her name is Monica Khan. Now, what happens with the changing of the surname? According to you, the definition of who she is, how she looks, what her tastes would be, what her characteristic properties would be, all of this changes, right? So that surname is your functional group. Monica is your alkyl group. So the alkyl group ke saath jabhi functional group aata hai, to is compound ka pura property badal jata hai. What determines the property is not the alkyl group. What determines the property is the functional group. So Patel lagne se Monica ka property badal gaya. Khan lagne se Monica ka property badal gaya. Fernandez lagne se Monica ka property badal gaya. So what determines the characteristic features and property of Monica? The alkyl group will be the functional group. So we're going to talk about functional group here. So functional group can be an atom or a group of atom which determines the property of the organic compound. So let's say there's an alkane, the alkane becomes the alkyl group and now the functional group comes and attaches itself to this. Now the functional group can be an atom or a group of atom. An atom like chlorine or a group of atom, let's say OH2 or NH2, we learn about that soon. So we will classify the various types of functional group which we will have for our syllabus. So the first is functional group containing the carbon-carbon multiple bond. Okay, so in that the first one which we have is our popular alkene, the double bond, right? That is your alkene. The second one is again your next popular, which is alkyne, A-L-K-Y-N-E, alkyne, and this is your alkene. And the third one, which is arising because of carbon-carbon multiple bond, is this. So if I write this I am satisfying this with alternate single and alternate double bond now these are called as ring like structures aromatic or they are called as arene they are called as arene so these are the three main types which constitutes this particular family your alkene your alkyne and your arenes which are nothing but your aromatic compounds. Now over here I have just mentioned this. Now you must understand that carbon has valency 4 so in every case these are satisfied by whatever could be there. So I am not going to mention this each time but every time you look at a carbon it is understood that the remaining valencies whatever I have not mentioned is being satisfied with mostly hydrogen because we are talking of hydro carbons cool so the next category of families of functional group we are talking is functional group where the carbon atom is bonded to either nitrogen or phosphorus or oxygen or sulfur so let's look at the first one in that so the first one in that is carbon is connected to x so what is x x is nothing but your halogen so what are your halogens fluorine chlorine bromine iodine or even astatine but we don't consider this so we could look at fluorine, chlorine, bromine and iodine. That's, that could be your X over here. So what are these called as? These are called as alkyl halide. So we'll talk of the nomenclature later on in another class. The second one. The second is when the carbon is attached to OH. What is OH? OH is nothing but your alcoholic group. So we'll call this as your alcohol. Now, you must know that this is an atom. This is a group of atoms. So, a functional group is an atom or a group of atom which is connected to hydrogen. I'm sorry, which is connected to carbon. The third is when, when the carbon atom is connected to oxygen. So, what is a functional group? The functional group is O. Oxygen is your functional group. 
Now, what's the next one we can take as example? Where carbon atom is connected to NH2. What's your functional group? NH2. We can take another one where it's connected to SH. Carbon connected to SH. Bonded to SH. So, this is your thionyl group. Thiol. This is your amine. And this is your ether. Cool. So, Philhal, don't focus on the naming. Just understand the functional groups in which carbon is bonding with these four. Is it clear? Now, you must also just know this, that the carbon can, can have a bond with sulfur or the carbon can have a bond with nitrogen. When it has a bond with sulfur, it is called as thiol. When it has a bond over here, it is called as amine. Cool? That is these two. So with nitrogen and over here. Third section which we are talking about is when the carbon is bonding itself to oxygen with a double bond. So remember, we are talking of oxygen and we are talking of double bond. Cool? So let's take categories of such functional groups. So the first functional group is C, H, O. All right? So this is where the carbon will come. So it will look how? It will look R, C, H, O. Oh. Now, whenever I do this, you must always know this. You must always remember this, okay? Always, always remember that when I write R, R is nothing but C. And every time when I write C, it is understood that there are four valencies of carbon. So, if I am writing CHO, it means one valency is yet to be satisfied. I may not write this, but it is understood because... Two goes with oxygen, one goes with hydrogen, char me se teen gaya, ek bacha. Now this is called as aldehyde. Right? It's an aldehyde. The functional group is this. This is your functional group. Let's look at that second one. The second is this C and double bond O. Again, oxygen is is having a bond with carbon. Your oxygen is having a bond with carbon. Now here, one is H. And over here, both are R. So it's going to be R, C, R, double bond O. These are called as ketones. These are called as ketones. Let's look at a third case. The third case is where we are talking of this is having a double bond and an OH. This is your next functional group. So what comes here? Here comes R. R, C, O, O, H, which we also call as R, C, O, O, H. We can write it this. So what is this? This is carboxylic acid. Now, we also have carboxylic acid. So we have mineral acids. So what are mineral acids? Mineral acids are acids like HCl, HNO3, etc. These are inorganic acids. These are organic acids. The fourth category. We'll talk of the fourth category, which is C, double bond O R. What comes here? Another alkyl group which is R C double bond O O R. Now both are two different R's or they can be same R's. I can write it as R C O O R dash. What are these? These are called as ester. Ester. The next one, the fifth one which we are talking about is this C double bond O and X. Right, C double bond O and X. So what comes here? Here comes R, C double bond O and comes X. What are these? These are called as acid halide. They're called as acid halide. And then comes the sixth one, which we'll call as the amide, the amide group, which is R, C double bond O, NH2. So what's the functional group? You tell me, I just remove the R. So whatever is left is the functional group, which is dash C double bond O NH2. So remember what was amine? Amine was R NH2. What's your R? R is your C. And take the last one under this category, which is nitrile, N-I-T-R-I-L-E, nitrile, which is R C N. And, and this is popularly written as RCN. Now, you tell me again what's the functional group here. I cut this. So, the functional group is CN or CN. You getting this? So, if you liked and understood what you really heard, 
all you can do is subscribe to this channel so every time a new academic video is put up you get the notification also write on the comment section uh, what is the next topic you will want us to come up with now very important read the description there is something kept there for you